Do you ever feel like you're stuck in a cycle of broken promises to yourself? You say you'll start that project, quit a bad habit, or stay focused, but somehow it just doesn't happen. Good news. You can change that. This guide is designed for those who crave real, lasting change but struggle with procrastination and unfulfilled goals. Each chapter will offer a practical solution to a common problem, helping you build self-discipline that sticks. Welcome to the book summary of Help Me, I Have No Discipline and Zero Self-Control, The Secret Formula to Breaking Bad Habits, Mastering Mental Toughness, and Reaching Your Goals by Vaughn Carter. This summary is written and narrated by Janky Mind. Chapter 1, How to Access Your Willpower. The problem, willpower feels unreliable. One day, you're motivated to stick to your diet or focus on your work. The next day, you're reaching for cookies or doom-scrolling on social media. It's as if your willpower disappears when you need it the most. The solution, train your willpower like a muscle. Just like physical muscles, willpower can get fatigued if overused, but it can also be strengthened with practice. Here's how to build it. Understand the science. Willpower is regulated by the prefrontal cortex, which performs better when we're well-rested, not stressed, and have stable blood sugar. So, prioritize sleep, proper nutrition, and stress management. Use small boosts. Something as simple as a healthy snack can prevent drops in blood sugar that weaken self-control. Control your environment. Reduce temptations that drain your willpower. Keep your phone in another room when working or remove junk food from your pantry. Align goals with values. Make sure your goals resonate with you. For example, don't just work out to lose weight. Do it because you want to be healthier and have more energy for your family. Start small. Use an if-then strategy to combat procrastination. If I feel like putting off work, I'll do just five minutes of it. You'll find that once you start, you'll likely keep going. Chapter 2. How to build the right mindset for discipline. The problem, you get discouraged easily. When faced with challenges, it's tempting to give up if things don't go perfectly. Without the right mindset, setbacks feel like failures. The solution, shift to a growth mindset. A growth mindset is all about believing that your abilities can improve with practice. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, add yet to the end of that thought, I can't do this yet. Here's how to develop it. Reflect regularly. Set aside time to look back at your progress. Acknowledge your wins and learn from setbacks. This helps you stay accountable and make adjustments when needed. Embrace failure. Rather than seeing failure as defeat, view it as a learning opportunity. The key is to get up, learn, and keep moving forward. Build resilience. Practices like mindfulness, gratitude journaling, and focused breathing can help you stay calm and collected in tough times. This mindset shift is what keeps you disciplined through both the easy and the difficult moments. Chapter 3. How to Avoid Digital Distractions The problem, technology steals your focus. You sit down to work, but before you know it, you've wasted an hour scrolling through social media or checking notifications. The solution, practice digital minimalism. It's not about eliminating technology, it's about using it intentionally. Here's how to get started. Declutter your digital space. Go through your apps and tools. Remove anything that doesn't add value to your life or align with your goals. Use analog tools. Consider using a bullet journal to track tasks and habits. Writing things down physically can boost focus and keep you away from screens. Prioritize tasks using the Eisenhower box. Divide tasks into four categories. Important and urgent top priorities. Important but not urgent long-term goals. Urgent but not important external demands. Not urgent and not important distractions. Focus on tasks in quadrants one and two and cut down on quadrants three and four. By minimizing distractions and focusing on what really matters, you can regain control of your time and attention. Chapter 4. How to Organize Your Life for Success The problem, chaos in your life makes discipline harder. When your environment is cluttered or your schedule is disorganized, it's easy to lose track of your goals. The solution, organize your life to create a foundation for discipline. Here's how to start. Establish routines. A well-structured morning routine sets the tone for the day. Start small with actions that give you energy and clarity. Use habit stacking. Attach a new habit to an existing one. For example, if you drink coffee every morning, read a page of a self-improvement book while you sip. Organize your finances. Budgeting is a powerful way to build discipline. Track your spending, categorize your expenses, and automate savings. Declutter your space. A tidy environment reduces distractions and stress. Try the one-in, one-out rule for belongings to keep things simple. By organizing both your time and space, you create an environment that supports discipline and success. Chapter 5. How to Go with the Flow of Motivation 
The problem, motivation comes and goes. Some days you feel unstoppable, while other days you struggle to get out of bed. The solution, learn to ride the waves of motivation. The key isn't to stay motivated 100% of the time, it's to know how to handle both high and low points. Here's how to do it. Set small, achievable goals. Break big tasks into micro steps. If writing a report feels overwhelming, start by just opening the document. Change your scenery. If you're stuck in a rut, try working in a different location to refresh your mindset. Capitalize on high motivation days. Use bursts of energy to tackle challenging tasks and plan ahead for when motivation dips. Reflect daily on what worked and what didn't. Stay flexible and adjust your plans as needed. Remember, the goal is progress, not perfection. Final takeaway, self-discipline is a skill you can build. Self-discipline isn't about constant motivation or perfection. It's about using the right strategies to strengthen your willpower, adjust your mindset, and take control of your environment. By building these habits and applying these techniques, you'll be able to turn procrastination into productivity and start achieving your goals. About the author. Vaughn Carter is a renowned teacher, consultant, and author, celebrated for his expertise in mindset and communication skills. He has penned several best-selling books, including Help Me, I'm Stuck, and Help Me Talk to Anyone, which delve into strategies for personal growth and success. Drawing from his extensive experience as an educator and consultant, Carter's work is dedicated to helping individuals develop positive attitudes and enhance their lives through effective communication and mindset shifts. We have reached the end of this audiobook summary. This summary was created by Janky Mind, your reliable guide to learning and growth. Please like, comment, and share your insights on the book. Thank you for watching.